All right, I want to talk about self-pity, okay? This is one of the biggest reasons why you will quit your fitness goal, your fitness journey towards your goal. And it's probably the biggest reason why you won't even start, okay? Now, self-pity. Uh, I think, personally, there's a lot of different levels of self-pity, but it all comes down to the same root thought process. And that's not holding yourself accountable for your success. It's blaming everything and everybody else for your lack of success before you start blaming yourself, before you hold yourself accountable. Okay. Now we all know these people and we might even be one of them because I was for 35 years. Uh, you ever have a coworker? All they do is complain about work. They're unsuccessful at work. And all they do is complain about their boss. They complain about their coworkers. They complain about the job. Uh, it's nobody else's fault. It's always uh, some other reason why they didn't get the promotion. Uh, you go to the gym and people uh, blame bad genes or uh, you know, just some other external factor other than themselves as to why they're not successful. Well, the tragedy behind that is it's bullshit, first of all, okay? There's only one person who is accountable for your success, and that's you, okay? Now, it's a horrible cycle down to a path where if you don't hold yourself accountable, then that means that you don't think that there's anything that you can do to be successful, which means you're not even going to try because why? Right. And then you get down to the end stage. The second to the last stage is crying, hugging your pillow in the middle of the night in the corner of your bedroom, wondering why life isn't fair. And then the last stage, the worst part is then you start accepting it. Right. Society says, hey, you're brave for accepting the fact that you're not successful at whatever you do and you're a great human being nonetheless. Well, yeah, you are a great human being because human being equals badass. But if you're not living up to your potential every single day, then shame on you and you should not accept that. And you have to think that way. And I get a rise out of it because I get angry. The reason I get angry is because for 35 years, I had the thought process that it was everybody else's fault why I didn't uh, be as successful as I could be. And then one day it just clicked. I looked in the mirror and said, Oh my God, Sean, how dare you? How dare you make fail to make the decisions or take the actions you need to, to improve yourself every single day. That's what success is. Success isn't the end result. And too many people get caught up in that. I am not at the end result. Therefore, I feel sorry for myself. And a lot of people say, well, that's not feeling sorry for myself, blaming everybody else. Yes, it is. It is. It absolutely is. So you need to take that self-pity. You need to take all of those feelings of hurt and uh, turn them into anger, right? Self-pity to self-anger. Once you get angry, that means you hold yourself accountable for it. And once you hold yourself accountable for it, then you can start taking the actions to make yourself successful. But until then, you won't because you believe that no matter what you do, it doesn't matter because everything else is going to bring you down. And it doesn't work that way. Every successful person on the planet holds themselves accountable for their success and they take the actions to it. It's not easy. It's not supposed to be easy. It's not supposed to be easy. Okay? You're going to go through fail failings. And... It's okay. That's part of the growth process, but you just got to work at it and work at it and work at it. Get angry. That's first step. Get angry that you're at where you're at right now. And then make the decision that you're going to take the actions to improve your life. And then you take the actions to improve your life. That's success. That's it. That's the meaning of life. The meaning of life is not accepting yourself for what you are now and being happy. That's bull crap. The meaning of life is improving every single day. That is pure success. If you make a decision today that you're going to improve yourself, you're successful. Then everything else is just the actions and results of those decisions and actions that you take. So stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop blaming everybody else. Start blaming yourself. Hold yourself accountable. Okay. All right. So check it out. Please like this video as I spit on your face. Like this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and check me out on Facebook, Pet Gorilla Undomesticated. Thank you. Deuces.